guys, so for today's tutorial, I thought I would do this Halloween open wound makeup. And all you need is latex and stage blood and a few different shades of red or black or purple for the bruising. And uh, it's actually pretty easy to do. This is my second time doing it. And uh, I think it looks pretty real. And uh, so did uh, my family because I scared them a bit while I was looking like this. And um, yeah, it's, it's not that hard just as long as you try. Because if, if you don't try, you, you'll never know. So yeah, um, if you want to see how I made this look, just keep watching. I start off with pouring liquid latex on a plate and then I take my sponge and I just apply it on the side of my face where I'm gonna make the cut. So now I take some paper towel and I rip it up so I get rid of the edges and uh, I put it on my face and then again put some latex over that. I actually recommend trying out the latex before you start applying a lot of it on your face because you might react to it because it's so strong and as you can see throughout the video I start tearing up when it gets a bit too close to my eye like right now. So, yeah, I would recommend trying it out before you apply a lot of it. So since the liquid latex needs to dry before I apply another layer, I'm just gonna use my blow dryer to speed up the process, and I'm gonna do that in between all the layers I apply. Taking a cotton pad and I'm splitting it in two, and uh, I take away the cotton wool and I take that and put it uh, where I want my wound and uh, then again I apply some liquid latex over it but uh, be careful because uh, it might slide all over the place when you apply the liquid latex. Then I apply another layer of the cotton wool and then again put latex over that. So now without applying any uh, cotton wool, I'm just going to apply some latex over the dried latex and that will just smooth it out a bit. So right now even though the liquid latex is dry, it's pretty sticky. So I'm just going to powder uh, the wound with some uh, translucent powder to uh, make it easier to work with. So now you can take a foundation or a concealer as close as possible to your skin tone and then just apply it over the liquid latex to make it match your skin. So 
now I'm going to apply some foundation powder as well so the uh, concealer won't slide all over the place. So now I'm going to take some small scissors and I'm just going to start cutting up the latex to make the uh, cut and uh, just be careful because uh, you don't want to cut your own skin. Now you can take the skin flap and just kind of uh, pull it uh, to make it uh, look a little bit more real. So I saw a spot where the liquid latex started peeling off and I had to apply some liquid latex over that to conceal that. But I put on too much so I'm going to cover that up with uh, creating some more bruising on the lip as well. But of course you don't need to do that because uh, I'm just doing it because I messed up. So now I'm taking the Ben Nye FX color wheel in the color of bruises and abrasions. And I'm taking the uh, dark uh, burgundy color to apply it underneath my skin or the fake skin uh, to make it look more deep and create more depth. So now I'm taking the darkest color from the color wheel and I apply that on the same spots where I apply the uh, burgundy color but just not as much uh, color uh, to create even more depth. So now I'm taking the two shades of red and I color the inside of the fake skin and I also put some color on the edges of the cut and I also apply the brightest shade of red inside the cut where I didn't apply any color at all. So now I'm taking the small scissors and I'm just going to poke some holes in the latex over my lip to uh, make, uh, make it look uh, cut up and bruised. I'm taking the dark red color and I'm just going to color inside the small cuts that I just made on my lip. So now I'm taking the fresh scab blood from Ben Nye. And uh, this is just a really thick blood and I love it because it looks super realistic inside uh, the cut. And uh, I just apply it inside my wound and I also apply it outside uh, the wound to, uh, I don't know, just make it look like it's bloody and 
I just put it all over randomly. burgundy color and I'm just going to apply it all over my cheek and also on my ear and in my hairline uh, just to make it look bruised because <clears throat> uh, the blood won't stain just around the wound so we're going to make it realistic but I'm just randomly putting it all over my face so it won't look good at first uh, and it just looks it doesn't look real and it just looks super random but once you apply the blood, it's going to look super realistic, so just hang in there. Now I'm taking the darkest color and I'm just uh, coloring it uh, around the wound to make it look more bruised up. And now I'm using a powder brush to just blend everything nicely together. And now over to the fun part. I'm using stage blood from Ben Nye and I'm just pouring some on a plate and I'm using a sponge to apply it. And this part is really up to you how much blood you want. I want a lot so I'm just gonna put blood all over my face and uh, just randomly everywhere. Also in my hair and in my ear. And this blood is pretty thin so after I apply it it's gonna start dripping and uh, it's gonna create a more realistic look. Oh, and before you start applying the blood, make sure to have a towel underneath uh, your face, like on your lap or something, because it's going to start dripping and if you have some pants that you really like, they're probably going to be ruined. So now again, I'm taking the burgundy color and I'm applying it on my eyes and underneath my eyes to make it look like I'm really tired and beat up. result and if you're thinking about doing this for Halloween I recommend uh, not using clothes that you like a lot because if you get blood on them or latex it might ruin them and also with makeup brushes you don't want to use the good ones because the latex will completely ruin your brushes so yeah I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and please make sure to subscribe to my channel and also, if you have an idea on what you want me to do for next week's Halloween tutorial, just comment below in the comments and I will check it out.